NBA. You're gonna be at two on four PF versus four K Trey Beef, Lil Baby versus No Cap and NBA Young Boy Beef. Young Boy has beef with almost everyone in the industry, and now he's taking shots at his own artist too, a rapper from Alabama named No. Young Boy can't be friends with with no rapper, bro. Like. This, this nigga always falling out with, with, with rappers, bro. Cap used to rock with Lil Baby and 4PF. Then he signed with Youngboy and became cool with all the 4K trade dudes. Now he's got beef with both sides and the whole situation is getting out of control. Here's what's going on. No Cap came up in Mobile, Alabama and started making music at just nine years old. His mom's boyfriend helped No Cap and his brother get into the industry and they were performing all around the city while they were still kids. His mom eventually broke up with the dude and No Cap took a few years off from music. But when he came back, No Cap linked up with his homie, Rilo Rodriguez. And it didn't take long for him to start buzzing. There's not a huge rap scene in Mobile, but No Cap and Rilo is building up momentum fast. In July 2018, No Cap dropped his debut mixtape. And a couple months later, he released a collab tape with Rilo. They linked up with Lil Baby before he was a superstar. And for a while, it looked like No Cap and Rilo were both gonna sign with him. They was all chilling and working together, and Baby even featured No Cap on the track Dreams to Reality off the Street Gossip Project. Baby told The Breakfast Club that he signed Rollo and No Cap. He was helping him grow by putting them on his projects, so it made sense to fans why they signed with him. But No Cap says he never signed a deal with Baby. According to Baby, he ain't even know how to sign anyone yet. Basically, he was rocking with Rollo and No Cap and was gonna sign them once he figured out how to set up his own label. But No Cap wasn't trying to wait around for a deal. Around the same time, No Cap started rocking with Youngboy too. He started getting closer to all the 4K trade dudes like Quando Rondo, and everything was still solid with Baby. In 2019, No Cap dropped a back end child and had features from both camps on the project. It looked like No Cap was gonna stay cool with everyone, but this ended up being the last time he collabed with anyone from 4PF. Rilo signed with Baby, while No Cap signed with Youngboy. And after all the drama that was about to go down, Rilo and No Cap are the only ones who ain't turn on each other. No Cap's name was picking up steam in the industry. But in September 2019, he suffered a setback when he was arrested for letting shots off at someone's house. According to the police, No Cap got into a fight with somebody. After it went down, the victim told No Cap to come through. And that's when No Cap's sister drove him to their house and he started shooting. Luckily, no one got hit. Spinning on the ops block, man. No Cap ended up turning himself in after his sister got arrested. He picked up even more momentum from behind bars after Youngboy dropped their collab, Out of Here Safe, and then No Cap got released a few months later. According to rumors, No Cap reached out to Lil Baby to squash whatever was going on behind the scenes while he was locked up, but Baby wouldn't respond to him, and that's when the beef started heating up. About a year after he got out, No Cap put his issues with 4PF out in the open after a fan posted a photo of the Lil Baby family tree with No Cap's face and name under babies. No Cap reposted the pic on his IG with a giant red X and wrote, ain't no tree. That's when Baby's artist, Cold Hearted Savage, hopped in the comments and said, he know he wanna be gang. No Cap and Savage started going back and forth in the comments. And Savage made a post on IG, letting everyone know that No Cap was banned from Atlanta. He wrote, he can't come back to Atlanta. He on punishment. We'll take a jewelry on some funny shit. I mean, you can't really ban nobody from me. From any city, bro. You can't really ban anybody from any city, bro. Like, if they want to come, they could come, bro. Like, no cap, clap back again. Then young boy and his manager hopped in to back him up. So instead of it just being, I mean, rappers like rappers that's rappers that say like, oh, you can't come to, oh, rappers say, oh, you can't come to my city. Like, like first of all, you don't own that city. Like, you're not the mayor of the city, bro. Like. You don't run the city. You you from you from that city, but you don't own that city, bro. Like you can't tell anybody. You can't tell nobody like who can who can or can't come, bro. That shit. This shit is a dog. Between No Cap and Baby, now 4PF and 4K Trey was both at each other's necks. Rilo made a post on his IG story, letting everyone know that he wasn't switching up on No Cap. But he was still rocking with 4PF. No Cap was on the same way. And on his IG story, he wrote, I love Rilo forever. But to set the record, everything around him. This is when the beef really started turning up. Some dudes in Mobile hop on social media and said that they wouldn't let the DJ play Baby in the club. But then another rapper who No Cap came up with named Project Baby Juice got involved. 
Juice and No Cap was homies back in the day, so No Cap ain't expect Juice to hop in and pick Baby over him. But Juice made it clear he's rocking with Lil Baby now, and he also did 1600, which is the proof from Mobile that No Cap reps. No Cap aired out the situation on the track I Hope You Agree, where he said, my n changed on me for niggas that we barely knew, like that n Juice. He took a shot at Lil Baby on the same track with four pockets, they full on me, and I heard the judge want me, acting like a because I ain't signed. What type of big homie? Baby clap back with tracks like Again, Go Hard, where he raps, Somebody Killed, I be telling my youngins to chill. Check the stats, I do numbers for real. And this ain't no cap, I get money for real. That little boy ain't run up no commas for real. Then he referenced Cold Hearted Savage's IG post with the line, catch that boy out of place, we gon' punish him. Take his chain and his watch on some funny shit. It looked like the situation was getting more serious, but then No Cap got locked up again and everything cooled down for a minute. Back in February, No Cap accused Baby of not clearing his unreleased tracks with Rilo. Then he took the disrespect a little further when he dropped a comment with a hard eyes emoji to Lil Baby's ex, Jada. Baby and Jada had just broke up, so sliding in her comments for everyone to see was- I ain't gonna lie, Jada's not all that to me in my opinion. Jada, Jada Chavez is not really all that, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely a shot at Baby. While No Cap was beefing with Baby and 4PF, Young Boy, Quando, and the rest of 4K Trey stood up for him. Looked like they was all solid. But now, No Cap is sending shots back and forth for Young Boy, and this situation looks even more heated than his beef with Lil Baby. A few weeks ago, someone on Twitter told No Cap he needs to drop more music with Young Boy. No Cap is still trying to blow up, but he told the fan that he wants to do it on his own so nobody can say he's only popping because of Young Boy. No Cap said they link up with the music later. But for some reason, this whole thing set Youngboy off. Youngboy hopped on the Never Broke Again's IG account and went off on No Cap. He said he's not doing music with No Cap because they not cool like that. And said, you a f***ing worker, b You ain't my brother, f you pay me. It looks like- This nigga Youngboy wildin' bro. Bugging out. Fasten this nigga No Cap up. There was already static between them behind the scenes. And No Cap clapped back and said he's been holding it down for Youngboy for three years while he picks fights with everyone in the industry. Plus, Youngboy supposedly wanted No Cap to pay him for a feature. It's wild for a dude like Youngboy to charge his own artist for a feature. But Youngboy's making it clear he's here to make money, not friends. After No Cap's response, Youngboy sent more shots calling him broke and said, he wild about the Jay Z part. Young boy be wild about the Jay Z part. Saying Jay Z can out, out rap and my nigga, that ass must be shitting me right now. Jay Z's a legend. He can out rap you. He could dead out rap you. But I like I like Young Boy, but he, he's definitely not better than Jay Z, bro. You play industry chess, but just don't know this game ain't got no loyalty. These rappers gonna kill your. Youngboy also said No Cap only linked up with him because he was popping. But when the beef got real, No Cap wouldn't even take a pick with Quando Rondo. Then he threw out another savage line and wrote, Go make a song about it, bitch. Make me some money. The show must go on. No Cap ain't even respond. But Youngboy wasn't finished yet. A while back, people thought No Cap was dissing Lil Dirk. But No Cap hopped online and squashed the rumors. He said that even though he don't talk to Dirk, they keep each other's names out of their mouths. Youngboy brought the situation back up and said it shouldn't even matter if people thought he was dissing an op. Then he called No Cap a and said Quando is the only reason he's on the label. No Cap responded about not being broke and told Youngboy to get Quando a lawyer, but that was nothing compared to the shots Youngboy took at him. After they started going crazy back and forth, NBA Youngboy's fans dug up No Cap's old Facebook post where he was dissing Youngboy. Back in 2017, before his career popped off, No Cap replied to someone saying they listened to Youngboy Nigga said, nigga said, can you, can you listen to the boy and for, for 30 minutes? 24 7 and said, can no, I ain't gonna lie, 2017, NBA young boy, he had some, he had some fire songs, bro. Like after he got out of jail and shit, he had some fire songs. That's why I first discovered young boy. Even listen to the boy for 30 minutes. And in another post, he said, next say YB go harder than Kodak, I'm slapping your mama down. Nobody really knows why Youngboy went off like he did. There could be a lot more going on behind the scenes, but some fans think it's all over No Cap not taking on Youngboy's beef and putting on for the label. Youngboy and the rest of 4K Trey had No Cap's back when he was beefing with Lil Baby, but it seems like No Cap ain't holding down for them the same way. 
Lil Durk is one of Youngboy's biggest ops in the game right now. So no cap is out of pocket, we're trying to stay neutral, and worrying about people thinking he dissed him. It's not clear how the situation is going to play out, but it don't look like no cap and Youngboy are coming back from this. Plus, Youngboy ain't really known for squashing beef. It seems like he was never really tight with no cap in the first place, so there's basically no chance they're going to move past it. This whole thing leaves no cap in a tough spot though. He signed to a label where the main artist and owner is sending heavy shots at him on social media. He can't just go back and start rocking with Baby and 4PF again. Maybe Youngboy would just release him from his contract, but the situation is far from over. There's no telling what's gonna happen next with Youngboy and No Cap. So y'all. So yeah, bro. Let me let me know what y'all think about this whole situation involving NBA Youngboy, Lil Baby, No Cap. Shit, No Cap has had problem have problem with Lil Baby, and now he have a problem with Youngboy as well. So yeah, bro, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, y'all know the vibes, whatever you're checking out you are.